They'll be calling you a radical. A lot to talk about here. A lot to talk about. San Onofre, San Onofre, San Onofre. Dead fucking salmon. Fuck Pacific fucking clouds. Epic fucking denial. So, first off, uh, well, we'll start. When the truth be found to be lies. So, I got to show you this. So, I bought this on eBay for $8. I hope you can see it. Better after today than ready after tomorrow. It's probably 50 years old. And so, you know, I just thought it was cool. I bought it. So this came in the mail. This certificate of authenticity. And it, what it, I want to read it to you. Because it's all the anti-nuclear movement. And I, I want to talk about this. And then we're going to get to San Onofre. Certificate of authenticity. The better active today. Pinback is a guaranteed original from the personal collection of Jeffrey Shiro Nightbird. I, Jeffrey Nightbird, had the pleasure to, of editing the RAG newspaper in Austin, Texas, the SDS newspaper, New Left Notes in Chicago, Rat Suburban News in New York City, the Austin Sun, the Los Angeles Free Press, the Plains Georgian Monitor for two months while Jimmy Carter was president. I knew and worked with many of these artists personally. I believed in their artistic and cultural value of the creations I collected in their work. 1979, the capitulation to the healthy socialism, socialized middle class America. So, it just shows you that our work as activists, you know, that's all we can hope to do. It perpetuates. You think your work's dead, gone, and so many of those great activists, because they mentored me and taught me, are dead and gone. And they think their work died in vain. Their work didn't die in vain. That's the beauty of this medium, this genre, is our work does not die in vain. It perpetuates and it goes on. And isn't that our role? To advance society, not, you know, degrade society. That's what we're here for. That's our job. That's our role. That's the light. That's, by the way, karma is real. Let's get this right to San Onofre. San Onofre, so... There's articles all over saying that San Onofre is going to go ahead and just bury it on the beach. No, they're not. No, they're not. No, they're not. I mean, I love it how you take this, and I'm really pissed off at a lot of these fucking groups that showed up after the fact, and all they're trying to do is fucking raise money. Where were you for 50 years when we're doing all the fucking dirty work in the fucking trenches for all those fucking years? Now you want a grandstand? Fucking let me tell you about not on the fucking beach. Listen, now hear me out, you know. Uh, by the way, Donna... I know you called here a little while back. I wasn't able to get back to you. My phone's so screwed up, and I've been so busy with that wedding, you know, Italy, blah, blah, blah. I'm sorry, I'll get back to you. So, look. Let me explain this. So, the fuel has to come out of those spent fuel pools. I mean, and, and which it's already doing it. They're, they're, this, everything that's wrong with the nuclear energy crime syndicate is sent an offer. Now, everything that's right with the I mean, they're way, way ahead of schedule. We are setting the playbook. This can be done. This is going to be done. Way ahead. So, hear me out. These, this spent fuel cannot sit on site. This fucking catastrophe, which is all 104 bottles of beer on the wall, take one down, pass the radioactive nuclear waste around. There's nowhere to pass it around. You know, we're fuck, fuck you. We're not taking it here in Utah no more. Same with Idaho. Fuck you. We did not consent. We did that now. New Mexico is apparently consented. Of course, I shouldn't say that because Idaho, apparently, which they haven't. They suited the fact or line they have. And I can hear to tell you, the fuck we have. I live on the Utah-Idaho border. And there's, you know, the earthquakes we've had here. <laughs> I mean, we're getting fucking, you know, little earthquakes fucking hourly here right now. You know, we're close to Yellowstone. And, you know, this is earthquake country. Fucking volcano. My mom grew up in lava. It's called lava for a reason. You know, I just came back from the active fucking volcanoes off the coast of Africa. They're smoking and a fuck burn. Let's build nuclear reactors. I was at the old nuclear reactor outside Milan, by the way. Oh my God, is that place fucking creepy? So, hear me out. So, they're coming out. They're putting them in the whole tech fucking dry cast containers. Which, that's, it's a process. It's a process that has to happen. Then, you know, supposedly on the target, well, they just can't leave them laying naked up on the top of that fucking ridge, or can they? Load them on trucks and truck them to fucking whip. Or truck them to... Oh, wait a minute, Kev. I saw the temporary permit. So all you fanny goats down there, Sandy, I, I, I'm so heavily deep involved in this behind, you know, the scenes. Because, look, PG&E knows. I mean, those crook fuckers. You know, by the way, I, I like Tom. 
I mean, they finally got somebody who's a fucking doer instead of a fucking scammer. And so, listen to me. Hear me out. I saw the temporary permit. The DOE has already gave them permission, which they have the fucking legal fucking... That's the thing about this. The DOE can move this nuclear waste anywhere they want without fucking saying a word to any of you. Legally. 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 Patriot on Balco through the military fucking Bill Bombs fucking complex. They can move it to a government facility, which they're already doing. They're moving it to WIP, but they can't tell anybody that. Well, because I'll tell you what, the activist community, the fucking public are that fucking insane. Blah, blah, blah. blah. So they're taking it out, putting it in the whole tech, and they say they're going to stick it right there on the beach. Temporary? No. We're not going to allow that. No, fuck that. That's not happening. Not on the fucking beach. They can fucking unload it, sit on the tarmac, and fucking head it out the fucking whip. Because you know, Tom, and I hope fucking this somebody can get this to Tom. You know as well as I fucking know. That's what you're doing already anyway. Quit fucking lying to the public. You know, you don't have to fucking, you know, make up shit, fucking whatever. Just... Do what fucking, I mean, take a fucking page out of these crime fuckers book. Just do it. Get it done. Get it off that fucking cliff. You can't sit there. It's a catastrophe. You know, we dodged a bullet on that eight point fucking earthquake. Fuck, so if that ha that same earthquake happens off the fucking Southern California, you're fucking evacuating LA. And I'm not fucking here. You're evacuating San Diego County, Orange County, fucking Los Angeles fucking county. You know, you're gone. San Bernardino County. You're all of it. It's a fucking, I mean, you know which waste is stored there? Fucking sitting on that soft fucking cliff. It's, I mean, I always ranked it as the number one fucking most dangerous nuclear reactor in the world. I ranked it over Fukushima. When for years, my top five, I used to go San Onofre, Diablo Canyon, Fukushima fucking Diachi, fucking Diani, fucking Oyster fucking Creek Indian Point, fucking Turkey Point. Them are my fucking time. And I'd shuffle them around, but I mean, take one down, pass it around, fucking. So, look, here's the problem. And hear me out, the activist community. Come on. I mean, Oh, we're going to put in your... No, no, you're not going to put in your... No. Okay, okay. We're going to put in... No, no. Whip blew up, by the way. The fucking liars. Two billion dollars to reopen it. Fuck no. Eh, no, you're not. Okay. It's a bad idea. Fuck yeah, it's a bad idea. It's a fucking horrible idea. Keep making more. How about we build a fucking fairy tale fucking tower to Babylon, a Savannah River to fucking handle? How about we have the canyon at fucking Hanford fucking poison everybody for time and all eternity? I'm Barack Obama. What's Hanford? Please allow me to enter myself. I be fucking, I mean, Trump fucking, it's good team fucking dumb fucking nuclearism fucking puppets. So the populace, the activist community, come on. Okay, okay. So not in the fucking caverns in the holes, Allison McFarland on Balco. Okay, okay, okay. Then the only other alternative shooting into fucking space. There is no reunification. There is none, and there never will be. And we knew that fucking in the, long before I was even conceived. You know, Einstein told us that. Oppenheimer, and let me tell you something too about Oppenheimer. Quit going off on Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer was a peace activist. He did not want to fucking drop, he wanted to drop scare bombs. You want to go off something, you go off on Taylor. You go off on fucking Truman. You go off on the Skull and Bones fucking Russell fucking Trust. Dig into the Russell Trust who fucking hijacked fucking Berkeley. Fucking, so, okay, the other two shooting into space. So 1997, we're Cape Canaveral fucking, I'm one of these pros shooting into space guys. You know, you know, there's Miko. Fighting with me, saying, no, fuck, no, it could blow up. And my words, exactly. And, you know, you go over and over and over. I said it for all through the fucking 90s, all the end of the 80s. Yeah, okay, it could blow up going up in the rocket. Of course it could. There's risk, no doubt, fucking. But if we don't shoot it, it's not going to blow up on that. It's going to blow up right here on Earth, and then we're fucked. That's exactly what happened, what I hypothesized. It blew up at Fukushima, Japan. Mauled the ones, you know, spent fuel pools, fucking drain, fucking crack. Fucking, once the fluids goes off them, fucking start melting together, Zerk fires up out. By the way, Turkey Point, fucking STP, fuck, there's all kinds of rumors flying around down there. There's all kinds of spiked radiation levels. Those 200 people weren't in there for fun. They crashed Redneck. They took down all the fucking dishes. That's what they do, just like after Fukushima. This is a corrupt, because the government can't tell these fucking people anything. So, so I still say, so in 97, 75 pounds of plutonium was loaded onto a fucking rocket. Everybody's protesting. I was one of the pro fucking people shooting in space. Shot it into space. So this year, April of this year, almost on Earth Day, it crashed into fucking Saturn. Oh, God, Saturn, there might be life. Shut the fuck up with that fairy tale bullshit. Come on. The fucking toxic gases that are on Saturn fucking dwarf even what this is. 
Please, come on, bring you star power to Earth. Where'd you sleep last night, Kev? Where'd you sleep? I slept in the fucking dead fucking pines where the sun from Fukushima, Japan. Oh, it always shines. Bring you star power to Earth. The sun can give you cancer for 93 million miles away. Jester said it perfect. Leave what's on the sun on the sun. Leave what's in the ground in the fucking ground. We can reflect the fucking sun, create energy. Fuck wind. Fuck, this is all fucking looting cabal. Something we don't even use to make bombs to threaten people. So, I still say, so here... I'm going to give what I call the Blanche solution. This is the Blanche solution. And I think it's the only solution. Because putting it in a cavern underground is a temporary catastrophe. We'll prove that. It blew up. Yucca Mountain, I can tell you, is not going to happen because of Las Vegas and the fucking power they fucking wield. Edelson and boys are some of the most powerful fucking lobbyists in the world. They're not going to allow it. And these fucking politician whores are for sale. And he will buy every fucking one of these. There's no fucking politician with any fucking, you know, constitution. So here's the Blanche solution, which is already happening in England. So the consent-based hearings, which I went to four of them around the country, one of the only ones. Now, Idaho is a horrible fucking place to base this at i &L because fucking Yellowstone's right here. I mean... Lava Ida, I mean, fuck, it's volcano fucking country. It's fucking earthquake. And while you people, oh, it's good to fucking earthquake. Earthquakes go up constantly there. The fucking geysers are there for a reason. It's called Old Faithful fucking, you know, it's an active fucking volcano. The biggest in the world. And so, no, not there. So what about fucking, it's not going to happen at Yucca. They're just going to fucking block it, you know. Hanford, what a disaster. Fucking Sin Rick Perry and that horrible fucking place is the fucking Santa Claus. I'll talk about that in a second. Fucking the steelhead, watch right in front of your fucking eyes, watching a fucking species go extinct from the nuclear energy crime syndicate fucking from Fukushima, right in front of your eyes and nobody talking about it. I am. So we don't count dead fucking people. We don't count dead fucking wells. We don't count dead artichokes and sardines. We don't count dead fucking starving, dead fucking full of leukemia seals and sea lions. Oh, I do. We count fucking salmon. They go to sea for average five years, begin to collapse 20. You cannot argue with my work anymore. So the black solution. I hate to say it, but it's going to be Los Alamos, New Mexico, because they've consented. The fucking people of New Mexico consented. And you can argue with me all over, but they went to the vote and they voted for it. The DOE is going to pay them. And I, I say, number one, every resident of West Texas, and don't be moving there now so you can radiate yourself. The people that are there, the landowners there, they get a fucking big fucking check every year, forever, until this is all gone. They pay them. So, to take this, because there's a lot of risk involved, pay them, pay them, pay them. All of them, every resident of New Mexico, every resident of West Texas gets a fucking check for fucking until this is all gone. So, they're already centrally located there. Centrally located there, you know, we have that fucking shitty hole. It's not even near big enough, but here's my the blank solution. We develop a fucking program there, which they already have, and they've been working on it. This proved it at Cape Canaveral could be done. You develop a program, you start shooting it into fucking space. Launch a rocket every fucking day. Every fucking day. You know, big enough, and this will take, it's right here. You don't think this can be done? I live fucking right by Dugway. The nerve gas, how long's nerve gas been on the fucking field? The UN banned nerve gas, and everybody's fucking agreed, including the United States, fucking gassing's horrible. And so we've been decommissioned out there. They're well over halfway to, has it taken fucking decades? Yeah. But they're on it. I've worked out there. Fuck you, ought to fucking go through that. Whoo, because I was a plaster. I did a lot of class, you know, plastic tools, they supply the tools. There. I mean, you ought to go through that. You ain't seen security. So, you know, and who knows what those fucking madmen are up there. Operation London Fog. Fucking look it up. In 2015, it's, I mean, so... Where the during the antelope use planks and know where the sheep drop dead and they go shoot fucking natives. So, no good solutions. So, the UN has voted, which I should be in Vienna right now, but some f fucking things came to play and, you know, that wedding, fuck, it wore me out, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so that's going on right now. Their conference on fucking the UN, the IEA who causes cancer is having a conference on fucking fixing curing cancer. I mean, this is how insane pathetic those fuckers are, and their general conference is going on in Vienna right now today. I should be there. I'll post another video. I'll use some stock footage. So, me protesting there. I should be there, but it didn't work out. I started to run out of fucking money. I got fucking tired. Doctor said, come home. The people the fucking I was supposed to stay with in fucking Austria stood me up. Blah, 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 blah. Whatever. I got work to do here. So, we send it there, and then we start shooting in space. So, the UN has recently, just fucking recently, voted 
I mean, this is a big, big deal to ban all nuclear weapons. Nuclear weapons and nuclear energy are the same thing. Of course, the same players, fucking the good players, fucking Russia, fucking the United States, Israel, and their fucking, you know, owner, fucking German London Liz, fucking the Nazi in fucking London who runs the family, fucking all voted. They're going to keep voting against it, but they got enough votes to bypass all this for the first time because they've always been able to threaten these other countries to put the pressure on but the United States has gotten so poor and so fucking economically weak. They know they have this big military base, but they know their foundation is fucking crumbling. So they're like, fuck you. We don't want to be like you anyway. Go fuck yourself. So the pressure doesn't work anymore. They've had it with us. Rightfully so. I have to be in Europe. Fuck, their quality of life is so much higher than ours. It's unbelievable. Food, sexuality, fucking clothing, fucking all of it. They're happy. They're happy. And so, and we're not. I mean, look at us. So that's my solution is to central locate it at New Mexico, you know, and start shooting into space, and the people in New Mexico, you pay them. And, you know, and then we, not only that, we organize giant grassroots, which we can do. We, I can do that. We can do this. We've already done it. The freelancers, you know, thanks to Shell fucking down there in South Carolina from modern Florida fucking, you know, she's done such fucking fantastic run going at that piece of shit fucking Jake. Like, I mean, these academia. I, I got to tell you this story before going. I'm in the university yesterday, and these two kids come in. I'm in the library doing some work. They come in, huh? And they're talking. We got to do this story on this Fukushima and this church. No, church. No, at the university. And I'm like, what did you say? Really? They fucking broke ranks and spoke the word on the university? Yeah, a zoology professor wants to write a paper on the spike in fucking uh, thyroid cancer in Japan. I said, come here. I walked over. I showed you. Google this. Just Google. Go to YouTube, Google Fukushima. Oh, that's you. Here. Here's the thyroid spike cancer study in California. Fucking, here's the fucking study of fucking the cancer spike in the Western United States. You give it to her, and you tell her if she doesn't give you the fucking age. I'm right here. You tell her to come talk to me. So they're breaking fucking ranks. Karma is very real, by the way. All these fucking cover-up deniers are all dropping dead of cancer like fucking flies right now. Karma is real. So it's sending out free. Look. Don't grandstand and say, oh, they're going to bury it on the mission. No, they're not. No, they're fucking not. That's my work, fucking Don. It's fucking work. Gene's fucking work. Ace's work. All those people that have been at this for 50 fucking years. Fuck blood, sweat, and fucking tears. And the people like Donna, the past. She used to call me old Donna. She passed away fucking two years ago. You know, she was alive long enough to see, but she, her own words. Kevin, it's so sad that these great activists like your father and these people didn't get to see, you know, this accomplishment of sending off people, what we're doing. She looks right at me, she goes, you are something. The way you go, she'll come right up to me and she'll hug me. She's Kevin Blanche, the last San Diegan. Ding, 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 ding. Speaking of that, I think my next plan is to work the coast again and redo the tide pools all over. Now, I'm not going to walk it. I don't even think I could physically do that again. I can't believe I did do that. You know, full. I walked the whole fucking thing from Mexico. I mean, it's so sick. And I look back on it. Fuck. What a fucking story. You know, because... Really, I thought I was going to die. What a good place to die out on the fucking cliff. I didn't fucking die. The tide pools did. You know, the starving death, they, well, so, and they put their power in me. They, you know, the starving death sea lions would come up to me. The whales would come up to me, taking the last, the animals would come up to me and cry to me. You know, you can see there's on it. The fucking seals come up to me. They speak to me. They talk to me. And they cry to me. And they're like, Kevin, fight for us. Fight for us. Please, you know. And I'm like, I am. I'm trying to fight harder. You know, I was given a second chance. That reminds me, like the night's coming up, we pay respect to the people that have lost their lives in this fucking horrible fucking fight. It's a very hallowed fucking important fucking ceremony. That's the October 14th. It's at Liberty Park in Salt Lake this year. It's all over the country. It's not about just raising funds, and it's not about, you know, this usual bullshit fucking, you know, about the fucking, let's run for the cure. No. It's about, it's about paying homage and respect to the families of the ones that have, their loved ones have passed. Their families are all there. Marsha's family, Carver's family, all these people that I all fucking know watch past. And paying respect to them, the people that have passed in front of us. You know, they, again, doing all the dirty work. I mean, the experimentation on their fucking bodies is why my body is alive today. And so we pay, it's a very fucking hallowed event. So that's what we'll be going for. Of course, we have Million Mass March coming up. Remember, remember, they're not, oh, I got a hunch that's going to be fucking crazy this year. Whole new fucking sheriff in town. That's gonna be something. 
so it'll be fucking, I'll be right there on the fucking front lines like I always was. When the truth be told, when the truth be known to be lies, fuck. Our perpetuates like the sea, like us. That's what we're supposed to do. That's what we're supposed to do. You can deny your humanity. You can deny your reason and your fucking purpose for being on this earth, not to suck air, earth crawl, and fucking consume, obey, consume. That's not what you were put here for. That's why you're fucking gaining weight. That's why you feel bad. That's why you're all fucked up because you're not following your life. You're not following what your fucking perpetual fucking ways and fucking humanity was meant to do from all the way back, from the sea, your mother from the sea. You were meant to perpetuate this fucking humanity in a good way, not a bad way. So you got a choice. You can go like this, like the Anarchy Energy Crime Syndicate does, or you can go like this, and your fucking soul can be enlightened, and you can soar. It's a fucking easy, and I've said it to my children since I was a kid, you can make your choice. This is either about enlightenment or fucking slavery. You can either be enslaved or you can be enlightened. You decide. You decide. And that doesn't mean you don't have a job, you don't have a career, of course. You, you know, you can have, you know, you can you can do both, but you gotta have something you're happy in that's perpetuating society and whatever job and career you're in. You try to make that industry better. You try to make that thing better. You try to defend whatever. It's real simple subtleties. So it can perpetuate. Better active today than radioactive tomorrow. This is from 19, I believe. Well, he said that he worked for Carter, so in the 70s, you know, we're going on 50 fucking years. So some of those people have passed and they think their work, oh no, oh no. Our work fucking my work. You know, I'll quote Dr. Burroughs, who's 95, I believe, now. Maybe 96. He's still alive. And uh, he's another living testament to enlightenment. He said to me years and years ago, Kevin, fucking probably four fucking years ago when I was full of cancer, Kevin, you do know that your work is going to be legendary. And you're going to be this giant, iconic fucking figure going fucking forward. And he says, your work, because... You're on this. You are absolutely 100 for her and all this. And he says, time will catch up. Your work is going to be legendary. You're going to stand in time. He told me that four years ago. So I talk to him all the time. And he's encouraging me. He says, you just keep going. Noam Chomsky told me the same thing. You know, Caldecott's joke of us. I mean, Caldecott's posing was good, but her not letting me use the F word and fucking blocking me for speed. course, Mally. Met me up there when Helen was fucking hung over and didn't get up for her own symposium on Sunday. Allie Harry snuck me in when Helen wasn't there. You know, so, you know, Jack Dresser snuck me into PBS. There's been some people that have snuck me in and done some fucking work. I've been, I got snuck into RT by a fucking, <laughs> they got in trouble for that too, putting me on. So, that's the solution, the blind solution. Truck it to fucking New Mexico. Build a rocket program and shoot the fucking shit into space. And you can pull back on that all you fucking want. What's the alternative? You cannot be a strong, good activist without solutions. Activists without solutions are the problem. You can say, oh, fuck it, fuck it, you come out. I'm blocking, it, fuck it, whip. Shut down the reactors. Let me tell you about shutting down a nuclear reactor. And they all need to be shut down. It's a big step to first get a check because they're safer shut down. Much safer. But still the cement fuel. And I want to say this to the unions in New York. They're fucking grandstand. I was getting off the fucking... Playing in New York City, and there's New York City cop unions. I had my San Onofre. Oh, you work at San Onofre? No, San Onofre shut down. Oh, that's too bad. I says, why is it too bad? Well, God, you know, the communities in those jobs. I says, no, they don't. That's a fucking lie. I says, you can sit and say that. The unions go in there once every 18 months when they refuel very fucking, you know, with a big crew fucking. That's it. That's it. There's a skeleton crews. The risk they take in it fucking, I will say this in the ending point in New York, buy these fuckers out. You're going to give them fucking how many billions in fucking New York City, Big Ball? You could buy the entire community, every employee that works there. You could buy them for more than they'll make their whole life. Write them a fucking check for fucking 10 cents on the dollar. Fucking the bank bailout on chemo. 7.6 billion? Really? It's a corrupt, it's fucking cabal. It's a nuclear crime syndicate. That's all it is. We need to break their fucking back. And I will say this, lastly. To all these pro-fucking nuclear rats, grandstand, ignorant, drunk on ignorance, they don't know their ass. Don't even know what the fuck they're talking about. Fucking carbon free. It's not carbon free. It's not clean. It's not green. It's not too cheap. It's the dirtiest, filthiest, fucking mass murder, most fell technology in fucking world history by a billion fucking times for timing all eternity. Where'd you sleep last night? I slept in the dead fucking pines with the sun from Fukushima, Japan. It always shines. It killed the Pacific Ocean. What is the purely damage for genocide in the Pacific Ocean? The salmon of collapse. Wake the fuck up. Let's do this. Let's deal with this. It's too late, baby. It's too late, fucking baby. 
Though we really did try to make it is too fucking late for a lot of the Pacific. It's genocide. But she uh, hopefully she can come back and we can fight back. And our fucking, you know, children, our children's children. But what about all the people it's killing today? What about all the animals it's killing today? What about those? What about them? What about them, you disrespectful fuckers? When the truth be known to be lies. Stay in tune it. Shoot the fucking shit into space. Two Los Alamos. See you in fucking San Diego soon.